it's about relationship and connection. I mean, that's that's the real secret to to it all. Is to that requires us to slow down, to look in each other's eyes, to hear each other's story, to 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 notice that the the woodpecker I see on the tree over there actually lives in this area, and is not just passing through. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, or the squirrel that's over here has a particular route that it does every day at a certain time. Um, that I have relationship. That that belonging, having a sense of belonging, is about relationship. Uh, not just what I notice, but also how I let the other notice me. Mm. You know that that belonging is a a uh, this way of noticing and being noticed. Being seen is I like that word intimacy. When we break it down, it means into me you see. And I've heard a lot of people cleverly use mm -hmm. do that with that word, and it's so true that intimacy and relationship and belonging is about allowing oneself to be seen mm -hmm. and to being deeply present with another. Um, and this is belonging. This is relationship, mm -hmm. and from that. Um, you know that, that's a good way to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a way that is in sync with the way things are, yeah. with what is. Well, you know this this uh, these times that we're in, this global times and climactic changes, and um, there are three conversations generally that go on, which is it's all good, nothing's happening, just business as usual. Uh, the other conversation is we're doomed. We've, we've passed this threshold of, of correction and, you know, we're all going to die anyway. You know, it's, we're just not going to get out of this. It's, it's bad. And the other is there's a possibility for change and awakening. And so when somebody asked me what I thought about all that, I said, well, you know, we're, we're all walking down this road. And... We're all, nobody gets out of this road alive. <laughs> it's somewhere down there we're going we're gonna to meet death. And so that being the case, the question is, how then do I want to walk down this road with you? Um, you know, that, that, that's where we begin to talk about death as an ally. Mm -hmm. It's like, let's not avoid the conversation. Uh, let's, let's know that that's where we're headed. And so how then do we walk this road together? Mm -hmm. um, and how, do, how then do we also respond uh, to the needs of our descendants, our children, our great-grandchildren are going to walk this road behind us? And how do we call on you know, our, our distant ancestors who have walked this road before us uh, to help us navigate this road in, in a good way? Um, so to me, that's what it, that's what it's really about mm -hmm. is um, realizing that that death is an ally. Um, I recently uh, was with my mom in her passing, and got to spend the last week of her life with her, and and watch that happen, um, and how it brought family together, and and certainly made me consider how how do I want to walk. Towards, towards death, um, and I'd much rather walk in connection with people, you know, in, in relationship, uh, and also the awareness that my my children's children's children will be walking behind me, and so maybe I can clean up a little bit as I go, <laughs> not leave such a mess <laughs> behind me, and maybe even create some some new ideas along the way that will that will assist them when they come behind me. Mm -hmm.